Hello. In this video, we are going to see how to create a head dynamics in Blender and also we'll create a cool animation using head dynamics. So first we'll download the models. So if you want to download the models, you can go to the sketchfab.com and here you will get some of the free models. So for this video, I'm going to use this uh, formal work, uh, work suit free model. So just you have to click on this and you can see this is a model and we can download with the textures. So in order to download, just you need to click on this uh, download model. And also if you want to download the textures, so if you if you click on this download and here there is an option like texture, so you, you need to click on this texture so it will download the textures. So I have already downloaded and now what the thing is we need to apply some of the animations uh, for this model. So for that we need to go to this Mixamo here. So here you will have a lot more animations. Uh, so here you can search for the categories like comeback, dance sports uh, so for this video i'm going to use this dance and also here you can see so there are a lot of animations so now what the thing is whatever the model we have downloaded uh, we have to import into this mixamo site and we need to apply the animation so in order to do that we need to upload this character so here you can see there is an option like upload character so you can click on this so we need to drag the file which we have downloaded so we have downloaded the fbx format so it will support fbx format and obj formats just what we need to do is we need to select this and just we need to drag into here so now we got the ideal animation uh, so just we need to click on this next now the animations has been applied so you need to select the animations uh, whatever you want uh, so suppose if i select this so see now it has been applied the same animations so after applying the animations just you need to click on this download and you can select the format uh, so for time being i will select the fbx format and let it be like 30 frames per second and just you need to click on this download so after download just we need to open this file in blender so we'll jump back to the blender and now we will import the animated character which we have done from the Mixamo site. So just in order to import that model, just we need to go to this file and we need to click on this import and we have to select this FBX. So select this and we need to go to the location here. So I will select this model. So click on this and just click on this import. And now let's delete this cube here. And now you got this model. And now if you play this, see, we got the animation too. And just we'll hide this uh, skeleton. Uh, so just in order to do that, you select this and just you can click on this hide. So it will hide the skeleton. And now the model is uh, small here. So we need to scale it. Uh, so what the thing is, see, now it is an animated character. So here directly we cannot scale this. So in, if you scale this character and if you play this character again, now see, and again, it is going back to the uh, like default scale here. So first what we need to do is we need to remove this keyframes from this scale properties here. So in order to do that, uh, just simple, uh, we need to right click on this and just there is an option like clear keyframes. So now we have cleared the keyframes and now we need to scale. So uh, just we need to select this uh, model in the outliner and we need to scale this so it's up to you uh, so let's say i will put up to like 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 yeah so this is okay now you can see now the scale has been applied for all the keyframes and also now before doing the hair dynamics we need to reset the scale of this uh, model here uh, so in order to do that just we need to select the model and just press ctrl a and just you need to select this option scale so now it will reset the scale of this model here and now we need to apply the hair dynamics to the body so just i will select the body and we need to come to this tab here so particle properties and here we have to click on this add button and now defaultly it will emit the particles from the body here but we want to create the hair so here you can see there is an option like hair so you can click on this hair and now we have to decrease the length of this hair uh, so for example here you can see there is an option like hair length so you can decrease so it's up to you according to your requirement how much length you want to maintain you can uh, put the value here so for timing i will put up to like 0 0.3 or something yep that's fine and now if you want to increase the density of this hair you here you can see there is an option like a uh, number so let's say i will put up to like 2000 or something 2000 and now see if you play this model still there is no animation for this hair now we have to make actual animation for this hair so that it will match to the animation of the character so it's simple uh, just if you want to make the hair animation just go down here there is an option called hair dynamics you have to click on this now see so if you click on this play now it's creating an 
beautiful animation according to the movements of the body and now if you want to increase the quality of this hair uh, suppose if you open this and here you can see there is an option like quality steps so it depends on your system configuration just you have to maintain the value so it depends on the value suppose if you increase the values so the render time will be more and if you put this value to like below five or something the render time will be less here so it's up to you it depends on your system so for timing i can put up to like six or something uh, that's fine so now if you want to make the hair more smoother uh, so here down you can come and there is an option called render and in this render we need to uh, enable this b spline option so enable this and just uh, let's say i will put up to like uh, seven or something and now uh, we need to increase the output of this hair uh, so for that we need to go to this children tab and here you can see there is an option like simple so see now it has been increased the count of this hair and now see here there, there is an option like display accounts uh, so we can increase that uh, let's say if i put it to 50 so see now it has been increased uh, now if you click on display see see now and we can adjust the length of this hair uh, so we can go here and there is an option called clamping so here you can see uh, we can increase and decrease so it's up to you so shape we can increase and decrease the shape uh, so for example if you go here and just we can increase the shape see now so if you increase the value the hairs are not uh, getting smoother so now if you want to make smoother just we need to decrease the shape here and if you want to make the twist, you can use this twist option here. So that's fine. And now suppose if you want to make the hair uh, the random size. Uh, so here you can see there is an option like size and the random size. So if you want to increase, you can increase the size of the hair. And here you can increase the random. So for example, if I can put it to like 0 0.5 or something. So now the hair, the size of this hair will be random. And now what the thing is, whenever we play the animations, uh, the animation is playing very slow because it depends on your system performance. So what we need to do is we need to bake this animation so that whenever we play, it will play smoothly. So in order to do that, so when we go up here, there is an option called like catch and here we need to click on this option called bake. Now see it has been completed. Uh, so now see if you play this animation, it will play very smooth. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.